sketch week video. We're doing a pencil sketch, a quick pencil sketch on this one, which barely or rarely happens. But yeah, these don't really do too good in terms of like views or like popularity, I guess. But uh, usually the nude drawings or you know nude paintings or whatever do better. But I don't really feel like doing those right now. So. And I have been, I guess I've mostly been doing faces. Um, I've been more concerned about drawing figures in terms of uh, out of my head for the comics, or for, you know, yeah, comics. And yeah, Super Bowl's going on right now. Kind of have a conundrum to talk about, but I'll leave that. Uh, later on into the video. Attack and Titan's been going on. That... I don't know why it took so long in a circle. Attack and Titan's been going on. It's been taking a... More from... Tw Actually, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be 12 episodes. That's what they had on the website that I watch it on. But it switched over to 16, which is fine by me. More episodes. I didn't mind that at all. But it's awesome, man. The Promised Neverland has been going on, too. Some crazy shit happened, dude. I hope it's real. Like, I hope it isn't like a vision. If anyone saw the... It, well, if you watch Promised Neverland, you probably already know what I'm talking about. This season, too. Promised Neverland season, too. Um, and, yeah. I'm going to kind of focus on the whole manga thing, like or comic thing like I, I've had like a separate sketcher from this one for like character drawings not not so much character drawings more like trying to draw stuff you know like having a system for creating yeah I guess characters but also poses out of my head uh, stuff like that mm -hmm. I don't really know how we're going to ink this right now, but what we might do is draw the pictures I have. In pencil and ink them later. That might be a good idea. Yeah, it's very smooth, it's like very easy, you know. Originally, I wanted to like do the comics on the computer, but I'm like, dude, that shoulder might be a little wide there. But, um, yeah, anyways, uh, let's just switch over to the next one. Yeah, yeah. Pixel art is cool because. The resolution, it's, it's pretty, you can do it as big as you want, you know. As big as you want, no, you know, weird, like, effects of low resolution, or, oh, you didn't do this big enough, like, yeah, whatever, like, it's basically, like, you take the pixel and you just add one pixel on top of it and one on the bottom. Or sorry, one on top and one to the side. And that's how you just make it bigger and bigger. It just has to be like t by itself. Like times itself, right? So you can't like freeform size it, but you can like kind of multiply it by itself. But, and then you can do the colors, really flat colors. And then, I mean, yeah, it's pixelated, but I mean, not, nothing bad about that, you know? Um, so four minutes and 30 seconds right now so yeah that's what I've been up to uh, I was supposed to do a print today but this is the second time this happened to me I uh 100% my fault I forgot to flip the image so I just uh yeah so you gotta flip the image because it, it already gets flipped so for you to get the image that you want you got to flip it so 
it flips back to its original state so um yeah that sucks but what doesn't suck about it is that this isn't really a big carving piece like there aren't that many cuts like it's kind of like a, a contrasty thing with like a bunch of lighting or not that much light like a bunch of dark spots so yeah that's good so i'll probably uh transfer it tonight maybe carve a little bit and start carving tomorrow um yeah i gotta put a new prints out soon i mean to be honest like i, I don't really I mean, we're at the five minute mark. If you made it here, like, you're, you know, you'd be really watching the videos. So I guess you could, you could hear this, I guess. Uh, I was going to say. Yeah, like, I'm not really, a, the, the, doing the Star Wars prints and doing print making is cool, you know, but it's just too much. Like, if you do it too much, for me, I kind of get bored of it. Like, it's kind of carving, printing. Like, I'm, I'm big on drawing. Like, I don't really like carving and printing that much. Like, it's whatever. But it's cool because you can kind of make copies and prints on your own without needing, like, a printing company. And also, it's, like, an original print. It's, like, hand done, which is cool, right? So, that's cool. Um, and then I'm kind of not doing school right now. As I said before, I'm taking this semester off. Um, so, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, what do you call it? Kind of, yeah, I should be doing a lot of prints, but I kind of also want to do the comic thing. And then I'm thinking if I should go back to jiu-jitsu or not. Right now I have the money and the time to do it because I'm not in school and I'm just doing my own stuff and I'm making money off the prints that I do like at least enough to go for the price that I pay at the place and for the gas right um, which is cool right but then I'm th I was thinking like dude you know I'm gonna be drawing my whole life or do I really want like joint pains and like aches on my fingers and stuff and that's, I mean, my back's whatever, my fingers, you know, what the fuck, my, I'm gonna draw while I, I'm gonna, like, ache while I draw and shit, maybe that's just, like, a little baby thing to say, but, I don't know, um, yeah. Damn, this, dude, these drawings are coming out fucking awesome, like, if only I can draw a pen like this, I mean, maybe I shouldn't draw a pen all the time, what the fuck am I thinking, like, just only drawing a pen, uh, maybe I should do more paintings, yeah, I should, in the next sketchbook, I'm gonna get a, uh, like a watercolor, not a watercolor, well, like, one that takes watercolor, um, what else, so yeah, the conundrum, or the, I was like, it looked like some word, I'm like, oh yeah, that is definitely the word I'm looking for, uh, when I talked about this, uh, damn, it starts with an E, maybe I'll, I'll remember it later, but, uh, here we kind of got, like, a smaller space, so we'll do a smaller drawing. My face is kind of far away. Yeah, I've been doing mostly faces. Yeah, I should really do more poses though in terms of like I've been trying to come up with like a method to draw the faces, you know, oh do the little cross, this, this, this. But also I want not a style, like I hate that word, bro. It's so cringe. Like when people say like, oh yeah, this is my style, I'm like, okay, bro. Ah. But, you know, for lack of a better term, yeah, like and I definitely will never stop drawing like this, you know. Yeah, I like doing it, drawing like this, but um, more for like a little babyer style for anime, not anime, for comics and stuff. So it's kind of difficult drawing this out of your head. Like, yeah, you're crazy, dude. You know, if you simplify, it'll be much easier to draw and much easier and quicker to draw in 
out of your head, you know, no reference needed. Yeah, you could be a big nerd and use a reference, but dude, like, where's the fun? Like, I don't want to be a slave to the reference, you know, I want to cha make a change in the scene and it didn't take me like 30 minutes to find a reference. Oh yeah, just save a bunch of references. Uh, yeah, it sounds a little wacky to me. I mean, people do what they want though. Like it's in their personality, not in their personality, but like they choose, like it's up to you dude, it's your, it's your world. I um, started playing Pokemon Soul Silver, which I wouldn't say I'm addicted to it, but I've been playing every day. Which, you know, there is a point where I'm just like, alright, what the f I just feel bad. Like, ugh, I don't want to play this, I need to do something. So, yeah, I think I just got like a big, uh, the big hype thing. Like, oh, dude, I can't wait to play it. Boom. We play it for a day or two, and then we're back to our regular season. Regularly scheduled program. Um, holy shit, dude, this is actually getting hyped as fuck to do a painting. I might do a painting right now. I have to do printmaking, like, that's the thing. Like, printmaking is kind of like the job work now. Which I guess there is always going to be job work. Like, when I was little, I used to be like, oh, damn, like, there's never a time where, you know, there's nothing bad to look forward to. Which, you know, to me back then, bad was like, oh, God, I got a doctor's visit in March, and it's like January, you know. So. Um, so. Off to the, what we were going to talk about, or what I was going to say. Um, I made this comparison. You can't tell I like Star Wars, so like. Well, like, I don't have fucking lightsabers or anything, but I just like it. I like the prequels a lot. So, I was like, damn, I was like, kind of like comparing these two things, like the dark side and the light side. And... I was like, uh, you know, drawing and being productive. For example, drawing, painting, playing guitar, maybe learning a new language stuff like that right that'd be the light side and also i heard dave filoni i think that's how you say his name i think that's how you like say it filoni filoni yeah the guy that made clone wars and like he did rebels and other stuff or i'm sorry last year under yeah he was explaining like the dark side and he was like oh yeah people always want to be like the bad guy they have like all this power Oh, whoa, 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 were you about to use an eraser? Holy shit. This is the first time I've ever used a damn eraser on this video. On any video. <laughs> not a big, not a big, it's an easy fix though. You just gotta like make the chin a little bigger. It's like one of my problems. I always make the chin too small. Or too short. Uh, he was saying at the end of the day, like, it's an empty feeling. That's why you have to like feed the dark side with like doing all this bad stuff. Like, you have to try to cope with it on your own until like, you can feed it, right? Uh, I'm like, damn, bro. And it got, kind of got me thinking, like, that's kind of like in real life in a way when it comes to, like, you know. Oh, yeah, and, and also he said that the light side is, like, you have all you have this power and you have to use to help people, right? Like, you give this your gift. You give it use it to protect people and help people right well meanwhile the dark side use it for like selfish desires and stuff like that um right, we're about to absolutely destroy this drawing with this pen's kind of difficult i think to draw with not difficult but it uh, takes like i don't really have a lot of experience with this brush pen uh but anyways yeah i forgot what i was saying but I said something about, you know, the light side used to help people, right? And the dark side, you have, like, you have to feed it, and it's like an empty feeling, right? And, you know, at the end of the day, when you look at it, like, you do get nothing out of the dark side, like, except feeding, like, the, the dark side or the addiction or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, drawing would be the light side. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's what I was saying. Yeah, drawing, doing productive stuff, the light side, and... The dark side would be like, you know, at least from my perspective, gaming, uh, collecting stuff. Uh, uh, we need to... Well, 
tester there. Yeah, gaming. We've had like I used to be I used to be really big on games and it is an empty feeling, dude. Like you're really like what are you even spending all this time for? Like what are you even doing? You know, like what are you even getting out of this? And at least that's how I feel. Or how I used to feel. I don't really play any more games. Besides like I guess little stuff like Pokemon. Whenever there's progression in a game, that's what kinda gets me addicted. You know? Like a game like I played Mario Baseball today against my brother. He beat me by one run. Um, it was the sixth inning, and I tied the game with a. <laughs> Yoshi hit a triple, and run scored. And then I don't know how Yoshi scored, but. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, it's like just a little fun game to play once in a while, I guess for me, but. Yeah, like, collecting stuff, like, it's just stuff to, like, fill you, you know? Um, like, some songs you'll hear, like, at least, uh, I'm not gonna talk about songs, but, yeah. You know, it's just stuff to fill you, like, you're alone, or you don't really have anyone. Which is, the alone topic is for another video, but. Yeah, in general, like in, I don't really like this kind of in inking because it's so like little tiny details. I like big broad shapes and stuff. I don't, I'm not really a fan of this. You know, that's cool, I guess. But even Kim Jong Gi, dude. Oh, dude, if you haven't seen that guy, he's, he's literally like, you know, where he's Achilles on like where the fucking. Whatever the fuck Achilles fought for. The Gre not the Greeks, the fucking Trojans or whatever the fuck. That's what we are, dude. And he's fucking Achilles. Like, ah, uh, he's so good and like... I don't know, man. Anyways, back to the dark side thing or the light side thing. Uh, yeah. So, it's difficult, you know, not feeding into the dark side because... Oh, he fell to the dark side. This, this... Because the dark side, like, promises you stuff, and same thing with how Anakin fell, like, he was just too attached to Padme, boom, he got fucked up. Um, yeah, Popson kind of fucked him up, cause, but it was because of Padme, and Jedi aren't allowed to, like, have love interests, or be with anybody. Uh, not that I believe that in, in the real world, you know, but the love interest topic and like the companionship topic is also for a different video um, yeah but um i started really falling into the dark side if that's what you want to call it dude i you know my dad started selling his, his like figures he used to be he used to be really big on collecting star wars when we were younger and uh He started selling some of them, and he sold these things like Funko Pops. He said always, we he used to always buy them. They're like ten bucks, twelve bucks, nine bucks, eleven bucks, right? Store depends where you go. And they have like you know movies, shows, anime, video games, like, and you just buy them. They had a cool box. You can stack them up, and some of them are worth a lot of money. He has this one. He bought for seventy five, and it's worth three hundred now. I have some that we bought at the store. It's like worth a hundred. Oh, dude, I don't know if I want to fill this in black. <laughs> so that's one thing I don't like about uh, you know, ink. Not only are they kind of high maintenance, but anyone look at the other page to see if it. It's not bleeding through, but if, uh, you can see. It. I don't know if you can see it here. It's kind of like oh, watery. Also, one thing you can do is smudge, but I really don't want to smudge right now. At least not in this area. Um, yeah, so I've been getting back into that. Like, although it's been good in a way because I've been spending like more time with my dad and stuff. I went out today with him to like go to some stores, went to the mall. 
Um, yeah, so. And then also, um, I've been playing Pokemon, as I said. So, yeah, yeah, I've been kind of, you know, like, what even is my life right now, dude? You know, what were my goals before? I used to be like, everything must be improvement, you know, like, time is ticking, dude, time's running out, you, you know, better do some stuff that improves you, dude, because you're not getting any younger. I'm fucking 20 years old. My birthday is actually on the 9th, which is two days from now. Today is the 7th. And, um, yeah, this video's going to take damn forever. Okay. We know what this pen's like. There's really no reason to continue, like, the drawing, dude, this ink just sitting on there, that's crazy. The drawing's done, you got me, like, I think it's time for our old, our old friend, or not so old friend. Not this one, I think it's this one. Nope. This one. It's on the go brush pen. So, that's actually, uh, I think we use this today to clean some ink off our brush, our printmaking brush. I don't want to destroy it. Okay, not that bad. I don't want to destroy this eye. A little droplet right here. Let's uh, scoop this guy up. Now let's see the quick little comparison. It, this does have cleaner lines, but I just think this looks so cool, or it feels cool at least, like even though it's not super straight. And what was I thinking? I should have stuck to my boy, Tom the do brush pen, but at least we tried it out, you know. I like doing like these circles here because like it kind of shows like a little shadow, right? And it's much quicker. But... Um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of fall into the dark side a little bit. And I'm like, damn, dude, you know, I have been feeling really shitty. Not shitty. Shitty's not the right word. Very like, dude, I'm home all day, right? Drawing, like, yeah, I'm drawing, but it's good to take a break because... Like, how much time can you spend just sitting in front? So, you know, you, you gotta mix it up, dude. Variety. Like, you, you just draw all day, you're gonna start hating it. Which, I didn't hate it, but I was just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I definitely drew every day. Like, that's a no brainer. Like, I just like drawing. A lot. Like, I, I just like drawing. But, um. Yeah, I just didn't really have anything else going on. Like, it's kind of hard making making friends and stuff because of Corona and everything. Like, I'm not going to school. So, yeah. Um, but it was cool going out today. I, uh... It's cool going out today and, you know. Yeah, that's all I got. But, yeah, sorry, sorry. This is the point I was trying to make. Like, it's okay to be, like, kind of like a gray Jedi. Like, for example, Mace Windu was, like, I guess a gray Jedi. I mean, yeah, I guess he was. He used, like, light and dark side of the Force. According to the lore, and there was this guy called Dark Reverend. Dark Reverend? Yeah. He used both light and darker. He, he used both, but he used, he used a Sith and a Jedi. So... He must have had to, he must have had to be like really strong to like pull himself out of the dark side, but um, yeah. So that's the moral of the story. A little lesson, I guess. Sometimes, like I will say, like there's weeks or days, a couple of days in a row. I'm just like, bro, what even is, you know, all of my not my morals, but all my values and shit, dude, down the drain. Like I'm like, what even am I, dude? You know, and then I just come to my senses a day or two later. So, I don't really mind that as long as, like, I look, because I got to put those on, 
I guess the kind of experience from it, if you don't like. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on with her face, but. Yeah, can't really see it too much, but it's like kind of a, or I guess you could, just not too much on camera. And also with these, you make cool gray textures, which you could, you could also with the brush or the smudging, but um, we're not really gonna do the gray because time to move on to the next drawing. So yeah, the comic stuff, we've been working on that. I saw like, uh, recently, like right before I started editing, or not editing, drawing this video, I saw the thing of Oda, like the guy that makes one piece and he's like, it was like a bunch of manga artists giving advice to like other people that want to draw manga. And he was like, you know, if you don't have like an idea that's different from original popular manga, then don't even bother, like don't, he didn't say this brutally, but he was like, yeah, don't bother, you know, like, I'd rather read something bad and have the drawings be like original, I guess. And I was like, that's true, dude. And then this other guy that I really like, his name is Takahigo Inui. That's even how you say it. He did uh, Vagabond, which I stopped reading because I found out that it was like abandoned or he didn't, he just abandoned it, yeah. So, yeah, but it was really cool. It was about Samurai like the same I called Musashi. He's like a real person, like in real life. Or he used to be, I guess. Uh, and he was saying how, like, it's very important to like have a good, char good character development with like, you know, uh, good, like a big uh, obstacles and like their path, like stopping your character from doing what they want to do or, you know, that's how the character development goes for them, I guess like what they really value like with the characters which I do agree like you know how fun is it if the character just gets what he wants like the show doesn't even start like what the hell like there has to be obstacles I guess I mean just like in real life you know so uh, yeah and then I was thinking you know I might really go back into this one story that I thought was cool. I might change it up to be a little shorter because it was so... Dude, to be honest, this story is... The way I have it right now written, it's just too much of a build-up for something fucking enormous. Like, I just need... <laughs> I just need, like, some... Like, a little baby... A little baby thing, dude, you know? So... Uh, dude, it... it one day it would come eventually like and it has come multiple times it just hasn't worked out i guess but yeah stories just i just really keep drawing and stuff um yeah also i like these line drawings like the shading is indicated by the lines like that kind of stuff i think that's cool um so yeah like Sometimes I don't really know what to do. Like I'm drawing, right? But I just feel like, um, just feel like, I don't know really what I feel. Um, like I need something or I need this or I need to do something else. And other times I'm just dialed in Dialed in, is that the way? Is that the word? Dialed in. Um, I guess I'll be dialed in. I mean, oh yeah, I started Blender 3D. I did like a little tutorial, which is cool. Like, one thing I thought would be cool was like to do a comic and have like a mold, like a little final figure that I made also come with it. That'd be awesome. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, most of the stuff is kinda already done for us here. 
sometimes a mistake or, or at least like during this drawing, mistaken some of the pen lines or the pencil lines for pen lines that I've, I guess haven't filled in yet. The uh, inking, I don't really trace it. I just kind of, I don't think you're supposed to trace it. You can do whatever you want, but like you're not necessarily tracing the lines. You're kind of following along with like the shape and stuff. So if you try to trace every line the exact way it is, like your line work might come out a little weird. I think it's done. I think I traced everything. I mean, like this is not kind of an improvement. I would never be able to draw teeth. Like there would always be like some mouth pose that the teeth were inside barely there. And this is kind of, the teeth are protruding too much. I need them to be more in. I think I got like that. It's fine. Um, next drawing. Here's your last one. We're not gonna fill up the whole page. I'll probably draw like some little things on there. I just think like there wasn't a big enough space. Uh, there wasn't a big enough space for a face down there. So I was like, why, uh, you know, why like bother putting anything? Um, yeah, so that's what's my, oh, I forgot this. So it's been going on, I guess, for me. Um, and my wisdom teeth were supposed to get taken out. And I don't know if I said this in the last video, but they uh, removed the appointment back for some reason. They didn't, they didn't accept the insurance. And I used to be so stressed with the wisdom teeth, but now I'm just like, dude, just take them out. Like, who cares? It's, it's like, I need them to be taken out for, like, my, as cringe or cliche, like, my journey to continue, my life, my path, like, whatever, whatever you want to call it, you know, so. Yeah, I can imagine like this is a fair this is like you know I haven't really drawn too much in the sketchbook or I don't know, it's just been feeling like it's getting kinda of slow, but uh I would imagine like, you know, me going back in December and me like, wow dude, like how I drew back there. Then but as you draw more and as you get better your progress slows because I mean you need more practice it's like kind of like in any video game really when you're going up the levels you level up slower than when you or you need more xp to level up right i guess like it's the same for drawing or anything really sports you know swimming pool ping pong table tennis unless you know you could call it table tennis ping pong Unless there's some different version that was called table tennis and not ping pong, but I don't, don't know if that's real or not. Also, like the. I've been seeing like memes and stuff, which I don't really try not to go on too much, the memes, but. And seeing like people are complaining and shit about the Attack on Titan CGI, you know, like, I don't know, maybe this is like an unpopular opinion, or maybe I'm being like rude or, or whatever, not rude, but I just feel like anime communities or like fandoms or like movies or shows or whatever are just so cringe, like, dude, just like watch the show, like, if you want to talk about stuff, fine, like, uh, I don't know, and then people like love spoiling shit, like, dude, Shut the fuck up. Like, if you read the manga, great, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, why the hell do people spoil? Like, wow, dude, you know something because you read it. Like, that's insane. Like, 
I don't know, I just find it kind of weird, you know. But people be like that, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I'm done. Kind of want to do some shading there. Oof. Could actually bring in this guy. I don't know how much he's worn out, so let's test it. Uh, here. So I haven't worked. I mean, I haven't really needed to because I've just I haven't needed any money because I haven't even, literally haven't even gone out at all. Basically, like barely, or driven. Like it's usually gas money, but I haven't driven anywhere. So the money I do need, like if I am gonna, I'm pretty much just saving because with like the little money I'm making off the print sales and stuff, like it covers everything. So. Uh, yeah, like, people be working and stuff, and I'm like, damn, that sucks, man. It's, like, literally your time, which some people need it, obviously, but the good thing I don't, you know? And then Frank Ocean here, he says, like, I haven't worked a job since 2009 or some shit like that. And I'm like, damn, dude, yeah. And in the song Proud Jones, he says, you know, can't get a job because, like, this little hustle's getting you by. Like, damn right, bro, like, fuck that shit. He's like, yeah, if you need a job... You know, it's good, it's fine, but, you know, if you can avoid it, like, that's more time for you to be working on, like, what you want to do, right? Which, in my case, is drawing, right? But maybe other people don't really have something, which is fine, obviously. And they just like going out, which, that's why they work, I guess, right? Unless they need to, like, pay rent and stuff. But. Oh, no. The camera was not there all the way. Um, yeah, and then, I mean, I live here in down Florida, Miami. You know, people in, like, UF, University of Florida, and uh, Florida State University, like, dude, that's, like, a corona incubation zone. Like, there's people don't even wear masks up there. Like, ugh, bro, that's insane, bro. That sucks. Like, if people would have worn masks in fucking March, this is, it would have been over. It's about to be a year since, like, the shutdown happened. Um, but, yeah, I mean, bro, it's, it's whatever, you know. I do think, like, I definitely learned a lot from being alone fucking for so long. Maybe I would have learned more if I wasn't alone, but who's to say, right? It's only, like, one go at, at everything, so. Her face kind of pretty cool. Dude, this, I fucking love this fan. Dude, uh, like, if I can have a bunch of Tombows, right? I use these for filling the new ones, and then once they're worn out, I just put them to the side, and I use them for this, right? I mean, you could use, you could use this for this too, but it's like way darker, and you have to have a way stiller hand. So you don't really have like the sensitivity and I, and you, you can't be like as rough and quick with this one that, as you could with the other one, right? But it's so usable, you know? Um, so I should do the same for this one. Um, let's actually put a cap on these things. Wait, is this the new one? Yeah, this is the new one. Um, so yeah, I should post, yeah, I should put videos, I, I tried to record a video yesterday, but I started the drawing, and, and I, uh, I was like, oh, like, yeah, so it's like I'm tied in, blah, 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 and then I looked at the camera, every once in a while, like, I check to see, like, what's, how, like, the thing looks, and, uh, like, half the drawing was, like, out of the view, so I'm like, fuck it, bro, I'll just draw and record another video tomorrow. So, so 
so yeah. I don't really have any plans for um, this month in terms of uh, in terms of um, you know I guess doing anything crazy uh, I don't know what the plans would be I don't know when school starts probably go to the, on campus to like you know, for some class you have to show your portfolio which dude uh, yeah you gotta show your portfolio for some classes to get into them I guess um, I just think the school thing is such a load of shit dude like the whole school thing, like, dude, you're, you're literally students, you know, like, like, we're students, dude, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it has to be like some crazy thing, like, oh, yeah, put this in your portfolio, like, you have to set it up like this, and, you know, put it on map board or whatever the fuck, like, I'm, dude, like, I don't know. Yeah, here's the chill part of the video. The drawing's pretty much done. We're just kind of you know, chilling. And you can always flip to the end, see how it came out. But I'm guessing most of the people that watch this far are here for the chill aspect. If you find this chill, or maybe you're trying to fall asleep or something, maybe that's possible. Possibility. Um, yeah, but it will be cool going back on campus. I really like the uh, library for this new school. So, look forward to going there. Although, somebody that goes to the school told me that. Um, they told me that you have to have a time slot scheduled to go in there, so it's kind of lame. I mean, I understand, obviously, because of the corona and stuff. So, that's understandable. But... Um, also, I made a little playlist of the songs I like from Nostalgia Ultra and Endless, so I was looking for a CD so I can burn them oh, what the hell where's the, uh oh, it's right here uh, I was looking for a CD so I can burn them and uh, put it in my car so I can listen to them because they're not on Spotify it's kind of weird, like, I, I just think the whole music business thing is so greedy, bro, like, especially, like, if you watch Twitch or whatever, like, there's a bunch of DMCA stuff, like, you can't play music on this or whatever, like, bro, like, uh, yeah, it's, like, so cringe, but, um, but, yeah, you gotta have Apple Music to listen to Endless, and then Nostalgia Ultra, like, I don't even know where you listen to that, dude, on YouTube, or if you gotta buy the CD. I don't know where you would get it. So, yeah, about the corona thing, like, yeah, it does feel kind of shitty, like, you know, uh, I don't know, being home all day, I guess, so, like, you could always go out, but, you know, what even, where even is there to go out, right? Like, it does feel cool, like, oh yeah, hanging out with friends is also, I guess, considered part of the dark side, like, 
in the example we made. Not that it's bad, like, not that hanging out with friends is bad, but it's, like, not something that fulfills you, like, I mean, nor does it give you an empty feeling, but it's, like, the part where you have to feed it, like, feed the dark side. I mean, yeah, it, it is a dark side, because, for example, like, if you rely on that, like, if you just love going out, and if you like this, like, there's nothing bad about it, it's, like, yeah, 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 like, um, same thing with, like, video games, right, like, uh, if you, like, go out, like, you're not really like, accomplishing anything, like, you're having fun, right, uh, but uh, you have to, like, keep feeding it, because, like, once you do leave, right, once you hang out with somebody and you do leave, like, that's it, like, it feels cool, but, like, you're back by yourself, like, with drawing and stuff, like, it's more, like, you are, uh, being productive by yourself and like you know every time I feel like oh yeah I'm comfortable myself all the time like I start feeling uncomfortable myself like it usually happens in like waves I've been noticing for me at least like waves of oh I think it's cool and then you know, I get hit with some wacky ass shit <laughs> why the hell do I say it like that like some wacky shit yeah like uh you know, whatever, right? Or I start feeling a certain way when I do this or this, but... I think Redunzi's a little shading right here. Shading on the eyelid. Alright, we're done. Uh, this is pretty much it. Song of the week. We haven't. Damn, we haven't uh, done one of those in a while. Or I have been putting them in every video. I just forget to to say it. Um, song of the week is actually real quick. Let's just shade this one up a little bit. Song of the week is. Hmm. I want to put something on Spotify. That's on Spotify. Don't want to put another Frank Ocean song because like I don't know how many I've recommended. I mean, not that much. I think only two. I try to like put songs that, um, like not that they're rare, but I don't want to like spam the same artists or whatever. Um, like the whole thing is like, if anyone even likes a song that week, for people to be like, oh, I've never heard of these people. Not that I have like some crazy like. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly what song I'm going to put. Uh, I don't know what song I'm going to pick, but... Oh, whoops. Kind of made a mark there. It's by this guy called The Ghost. My dad got, like, a Funko Pop of him. Because he looked cool. And I'm like, oh, it's from a band. And they're like, oh, it's from a band. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I saw what band it was and, like, the music was cool. It's cool, I guess. Yeah, it's cool. I do think, like, they sound better on earphones than on speaker for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just my speaker and earphones. But, yeah. Um, but well, I don't know what song I'll pick. Uh, I just started listening to them, like, two days ago. The only girl here with black eyebrows. She kind of looks like she has this really cool unibrow. What the hell is this name? Yeah, from Ghost. That's the guy's name. It's like this rock guy. It's kind of like slow. I don't even know if they call it metal. It's like rock, I guess. All 
Alrighty. Uh, whoops, whoops, what am I doing? Alright, too much. What the f too much shading. Alright, that's it. Uh, that's it. Song description. Uh, and the, my <laughs> the song in the description in my description. Uh, my Etsy shop. If you want to check it out. In my description. And um, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.